Thank you for joining us for Community Manifesto. We're coming to live from the Lorry Park at Shio Sudoku, the constituency in itself. The district name goes with the same name, Shio Sudoku. Basically, they speak Krobo. But we have many people who have settled here, either as first generation, second generation, or even third generation people who have become indigents of Shio Sudoku. And um, as TV3 and your election command center with community manifesto, just like what we've done across many of the communities that we've been to, is to ensure that we solicit views of not only politically exposed persons, but also ordinary members of the communities within the constituency. So rightfully, um, the current member of parliament is from the NDC. And then we also have as uh, the MCE or the DCE also being appointed and subsequently by the president, Nanado Dankwe Kufado. So I'll just do a quick introduction. So let me just start from my extreme right. And um, please, you can introduce yourself. No, I sabote the presiding member, Shai Osudoko, this assembly. This assembly. Oh, Noah, Noah. No, no, sabote. No, I sabote. Not oh, sabote. Sabote. Yes, sir. Okay. My name is Benjamin Nage, the NPP parliamentary candidate. Shai Osudoko. So Benjamin, Benjamin Nage. Benjamin Nage is the parliamentary candidate for the MPP for Shai Usudoku constituency. My name is Honorable Fred Ofei, the DC for Shai Usudoku. Fred Ofei. Fred Ofei is the DCE for Shai Usudoku. Linda Obunewa Akwele Oku, MP for Shai Usudoku, aka Show Mama. Okay, so we have so we have Linda. Linda Oklu is the member of parliament. She says her Nikki is aka Show Mama. AKA Show Mama. So my name is Isaac Kofi Kotri. I'm the constituency chairman for NBC Shio Suluku constituency. Thank you very much. My name, my name is Ignatius. My name is Ignatius the Boy, assembly member for the Natuku Electoral. All right. And we also have to thank the the district police command for making this possible as well uh, because we have a lot of security there. You want me to, you want me to? one person uh, who has to be introduced? Okay, there's a last person there who is seated there. Okay. My name is James Ayepe, okay. NDC Constituency Secretary. All right, James Ayepe. Now, all right. Choboy, Choboy. We observe certain key rules in this gathering. We have observed that for many of the places that we go to, instead of us listening to ourselves and talking to each other, we tend to do a lot of noise. It disrupts the conversation. And I believe that before we came here, we were told that Shai Osudoku was one of the best decorous and comporting constituencies we have. So both MPP, NDC, and the rest of the politically interest groups, as well as community groups and individuals, let's comport ourselves. Let's have this conversation in such a way that all of us will live here peacefully. All right? So my first question. Uh, we have our mics also located here. So what you can do is to take views. So I want to start by taking views from the community themselves. I'll take two from my right. Can I take two? Um, wh what are the issues that you want to raise for the community? Uh, issues, or You can speak any language that you want, whether it's uh, Krobo or Dangbe or whatever. Yeah. Uh, 
I am Nuruddin Al Hassan. Obiaji Nuruddin Al Hassan. Yes, I am Nuruddin Al Hassan. Okay. A member of the community. Uh, we are grateful for this program today. We have a lot of challenges we are facing. Tell we me some of the challenges as a citizen. Good. We are, we are, uh, as a constituency uh, here, we don't we have an MP, but it looks as if we don't even have an MP. You we do not have... Continue, continue. Very good. We do not have a proper representation of the people. For the first time in Shah Sudoku's history, we have an MP who has spent eight years and in eight years of parliament, she has, she has never spoken unless just once. Our issues such as road issues, education issues, agriculture issues, unemployment, sanitation, all of these issues have not been addressed. For instance, let me take education. And the education Please, we you have, have the, you have two minutes. Yes, and the education we have the assembly that has invested a lot into the infrastructure. We have Honorable Benjamin Nage, who has never been an MP but has supported enormously in the education sector. When you look at him, he's been able to sponsor for a, a program that was preparing students for BEC. He's been able to donate sanitary uh, bills for schools. But the MP is seated here. She cannot mention a single thing she has ever done to any school in this trial of Sudoku. I am saying it on authority. She came to my she came to my area where she came to, and I asked her a question. Her team came to beat me. I have a video. Her team came attacking me for asking her a question. When she came to Congo, she's so competent, she cannot do the work. Hello. Ipanye pe kamene wa moderate so madeo ke wa natio ne wa buteo wa manu nene angede. Kekle kle o maha wa organize so mechum. Kekle kle o acha mi Charles Tete Hombe. Obi aji Charles Tete Hombe. Charles Tete Hombe. Ije. As you are, among who lodge him, and an energy among who live when you're burning our noji, care a super cool while we are now one more becoming a cover home or more. I knew him at a company full and one nick pump bill, a government, a low individual, private people. I almost am kept E a peo, keke a he wo mo, lo si kalo wa kama pwen, ke peo mo chwe pe, keke lo ji ka wa nye wo nye wa jwo mo nye bene sa. Kolo. E ye ka, e sa ne wa empi, e nye ne e tu mu nyu ke gu marketing aspect he ke ha wo. Se on fashion e dle yo, e na e fly video ko. Ke ha nye wo mo. E ha, e che jwa ke ha wa gana rice, ne ji as chware rice. Ne, as chware, is a paramount rice production area. Nenge area. We are a food basket to the region. And at least I expect my MP to be able to articulate in parliament and elsewhere for us to get a lot of market so okay. that we can produce. Kolo, no, no, but no, no, instead no. of doing instead of doing that, she rather went on air to condemn the rice that we produce in Australia as to Jimmy, which is not good for controversy. And I am very, very Kolo. surprised. Kolo. That is my worry. Kolo. That Kolo. is my Kolo. worry for the farmers. Kolo. 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 You do rice production. Yes. At the end of the day, after the harvesting, yes. you have no means of marketing the rice. Exactly. At a certain and, point in time. And you think the MP should be at the forefront of making sure the advocacy is created for you to have the opportunity. Exactly. But instead, she went around to discredit the rice that we produce as Tujimi, which is not credible. And so this is what I want to know from the MP. What kind of job she wants us to do? As citizens and constituents of hers. Thank you. Mochum, Mochum. I'll take two years. Please, Thank you. please, please, please. All right. I go. I need your beer. I go. Mochum. I tell me, Mate Eric. Sebiyan and Ifuka Lejin and Mate. Ipanye, Mr. Walker. 
you are a seasoned journalist. Please, between an MP and a DC, who is to bring development to his people? Thank you. Now, 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 let me go on. The, the, MPP, the MPP has been in power for eight good years. For eight good years. And, and what I know is that, what I know is that, it is the DC who must see to the development of the constituency. And we have a query. We have a, one of the largest queries in this cons in the in the whole country. And we can speak of a better road being constructed under this government. And that the, I'm happy that this is here. If you can, if you can tell us one single road, he has been able to construct and tear under this eight years administration of the NPP. Now we have a fire tender which was bought by the NDC during Professor Mill's time for the Ghana Fire Service. And for more about eight years now, the fire tender has broken down. Mr. DC, please, why have you failed to fix the fire tender? Also, 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 we have one more minute, the, former, the former NDC administration erected street lights for on all our roads. When you get to Dodwa those days in the evening, it looks like Dubai. But when the MPP came to power, all the street lights have gone off, and so there's total street darkness, lights. and the DC has done nothing, and the MPP have failed Your the constituency. Thank you. Up. One more view, one more person, and then I'll come here. Me, Job, yeah? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Choboy! Choboy! Uh, for the past eight years, MPP government, in, uh, MPP in government, they accumulated revenue. Ne district assembly now is in excess of uh, uh, 46 million Ghana cities. MPs common fund between 2020, 2021, no. district or highway uh, MPO common fund. That's impossible. Is it, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Well, I will ask the MP. The MP is here. Yes. I'll ask him. 2020, this, I'm speaking to facts. It is in the composite budget of the district assembly. This is an open document. And within these eight years, 46 million, the MP is building schools, she's building clinics, she's uh, 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 reshaping roads. But then, what are we seeing from the district assembly? I can speak for Osudoku. Osudoku, when you come to Osudoku, we are underprivileged. O Osudoku doesn't have any one development from uh, uh, MPP government. We have a market, and I would like to ask the DC, what is the status of Astraway market now? So these are questions we want the um, uh, DC to answer for us. What's your name? My name is Muluwa. Muluwa, yes. thank you very much. Okay. If, what can okay, MC your MC your first? MC, um, can I? All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. Cool it, cool it, cool it. So um, I think there are key issues that have been raised. Let's address issues of infrastructure. It will include street lights, roads, things that are being done. And then uh, you add up with the issue of what's the collaboration between the assembly and the MP, because I know that the MP is supposed to be a member of the assembly, so I don't get it when they say the MP is not all parts and all that. So let's address that, Mr. Fair, quickly. Let's do that. Okay. No, don't worry. Let me see. Hello, hello. It's okay. Hello. Uh, good morning to all viewers. Uh, I, you wish, to I wish this will come mad Ne anna him, Quenenen and Emadio, the Madi Moisi, Moisi, oh my, no, my, no, 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 I have been in office for two years, eight months now. 
and I want to give my stewardship to the good people of Sai Osudoku. Continue. Please continue for me. Continue. Mr. Fair, continue. You, you, are, you, I, are, you are alive on air, so continue. I will plead with the people. In and your papa and no friend on the album, it way. Nipa office, you know, two and a half years, you know, on a year predecessor, a pair, a no Samina. Nimu by Iba Chano, Bakakla, Kla Loko, Machano, Maha, one million and a doctor, a pair, two, Nemanga, Mehuno, Machame, can you cut my opinion leaders, including my own opponent, the NBC people? I greet you all. I have given a slide to the, the crew. The evidence based on your mass work. I'm sure no, I'm going to have to do it. So you show him, please. You, you show his, his project and then he, he will talk about them, please. I'm going to talk about them, me by office no ke assembly men no men anga here men men a vote men a ho men men a see men anga here they will attest to it ka each time I give them street lights. I have my street light ka men che me aka ho akutu amia na office na various places ka ho ma bi no ka mo no na dance here na ngete ke imi ibu amodi in the aspect of street lighting no this is what I have done okay, street for street people. Again, yeah. It can have assembly members on me, me and the various electoral areas on me. Can I ya me I office can have my be me assembly men on me like you all. They can attest to it that I'm done that. Ever since new office two and a half years, you know, I've given them more than three times. So before I continue, they also touch on the common fund. The MP is here. His secretary, her secretary is also here. Kindly ask them that have they ever brought a single letter on my table and I've never approved it before? Mini, 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 mini letter. Letter of. Letter of request from the MP. All requests that he has put before me has been granted, signed, and approved and given to the MP on common fund. We've never hold on. The MP herself can attest to that. That I've told her that the common fund belongs to the people of the good people of Sayo Sudoku. Now, any time a document comes, I approve it and it goes back to her for a final disbursement to the people of Sayo Sudoku. Okay, so the question then I will ask is you have made approvals based on requests by the MP. By the law, he okay. has to give okay. a request. Okay. And then. So when she put in the request, we approve it for her. Okay. So which which projects has have she put in as has she put in in request for you to approve? Honestly speaking, physical project, no. Not a single physical project has come before me. All is human building. He wanted to build the capacity of the people, and that is the request she has been putting before me. Which is like training. Yes, please. Please continue. Continue. I would like the crew to start showing the pen drive I've given to them so that I will speak to each of the projects under my stewardship for the two and a half years that I've been in office. Is it only under your stewardship? Not under. I thought the stewardship of I the want government. To, yeah, the stewardship of the government, but I want to start with mine and continue with my predecessor. Mini Gino, Mini Project Gino. This is a toilet facility. Which area? Which area is it? Toilet facility. We have numerous of these to toilet facility in the district. Numerous of these. How, many, the how many do you have in we the district? We have about 11 of these projects in the district. Which areas? We have one in Apecon. We have one in Akukwano. We have one in uh, Akwameda. We have three in Asuchare. We have four in Asuchare. Okay, and a number of them as well. So you've mentioned um, 11. 
Now, this is a building that is also there. So, a very ultra modern building, as you people call it, ultra modern. Yeah, I'm speaking to this project. Okay. I beg you, please keep quiet. Keep quiet and listen. No. This uh, project is in the hold of Hotel. It's unfair. You have the mic. So, when you speak, it goes directly on air. So, you don't have to be bothered about the noise. Okay. This is a nursing quarters we've recently built from the nurses at the old hospital. It is there, evidence day. It is there. It is there. So this is, this is in the, the it's in the hospital. It is in the old hospital. We have old hospital and, and the, the new hospital. hospital. Okay. This is built in the new hospital. What about this one? These are market shelves being built in the market. When did and this, this start? One started when did this in twenty eighteen. But I have built a completed shed alongside with this in the market. And this one, this is the shed I have built in the market. It is a clear, everybody says it. Continue it for me. It is a clear evidence. Everyone says it. So you are doing projects in the market? I am doing more shirts, a project, More yes. shirts. More shirts in the Apart market. Apart from the main market? Yes. Okay. Evidence based. You evidence say based. That's evidence right. based project. That's why you do community manifesto. Yes, I have done it. This is a, a clear vision. Mini you have an astrophor park. And it is in this is an astrophor. It is Who constructed it? Ghana Gas or? No, it is Costa. It is a um, Zongo Development Fund that Zongo, constructed. This, so this is a Zongo Development Fund project, project, project in Shai Osu Beautiful, beautiful. Which company build it? Um, to Wem be honest, I'm forgetting the name is of the company. Is it Wembley Sports? Not Wembley Sports. No, not Wembley Sports. Okay. What about roads? Can you tell us about roads in the area? For roads, we have a little challenge about roads. Where do we have the challenge? MC, the challenge uh, is uh, from Afienya, a bad to Afienya. But recently, I've been able to reshape the road up to our boundary. Once we share a common boundary with Nigo Pram Pram. So I've reshaped it to our boundary. Yeah. So for road, we have a road infrastructure problem, okay. which we are lobbying for, for it to be done. Some okay. of them, contractors are on the site, but they've abandoned site. So we'll show some of the projects that you want us to show. The, the street lights, when you give it to the assembly members, do you ensure that they fix it? To be honest, the feedback they give me is they fixed it. They, they have fixed it. Yes. All right. So we'll be coming back on your project so that we don't have to spend time on only you. Yeah. I think it is fair. So you have more projects, right? I have more projects. Fantastic. Than I have to show you say you say evidence based. Evidence based project. Mr. Fair. Evidence based I, project. I want them to show Mr. Fair. I like you. This is this is only for Dodwa. All right. Now. Ma Madam Linda Oklu, you are the MP. A key consideration that has to be made is the advocacy that you undertake. If you look at what the structure is, the MPs are supposed to be agents of development. They don't do the development themselves, but they do the lobbying and the advocacy. What can you say has been done by your representation in lobbying and advocating for development in Shai Osudoku? Thank you, Roland Walker. Please, please, before I proceed, I beg of you, we are here to know the facts. So if you can please be a little bit silent for us. You've been complaining. Please. Okay, so, so let me lay the ground so, Madam, when you speak, it goes directly into so the mic. So, Roland Walker, uh, let me clarify this. This is my green book ever since I took office. Okay. As a member of parliament, this that I've been able to do within my tenureship as a member of parliament. Continue. Secondly, let me clarify this. This is said something that physical project has not come to his table. I want to ask this thing that I renovated the Dodua um, the Dodua library. Is it not a physical project? I did a toilet project. At Odunse, is it not a fiscal project? I did a toilet project at Wedokum. Is it not a fiscal project? Anyway, uh, let me start with my green book. This is my green book. Um, when we come to education, 
this is education, and I believe you have a soft copy. Roofing or six unit teachers accommodation at WAPA. We know there's a six unit classroom Wapa. block. Which we, area? WAPA. It's a community around the Osunoku area. Renovation of three unit teachers accommodation at Agbekocheko. Roofing of three unit classroom block at Nyapenya. The MPs uh, education, uh, education directorate are first. That comes to the education directorate. I noticed something that the education directorate normally don't go around to do monitoring within their schools. So I engaged the education director and he said they don't have funds. So because of that, I've taken it upon I've taken it upon myself. I released ten thousand, which is hundred million old currency to the education director to do monitoring so every quarter. You are supposed to use it to supervise, to make sure that activities are ongoing. Exactly. And then, like I said, I renovated the Dodua Library to the team of 1.8 million old currency. I have paid 80% of that amount to the contractor. It's not with 20%. And, we, and you pay through your common fund. From the common fund, exactly. And then, every PEC, education director, can attest to the fact that... That thing, the, the thing on television is what? Exactly. This is the uh, decks I distributed to selected schools within the side. Okay, yo. Every Which PEC... You selected the schools? Selected the schools through the education director. We both selected the schools. We also have some of the schools we have to support. So, both of us, I mean... Uh, uh, compact list and then sent uh, uh, did the donation. But Roland, I also support every year BEC students. I support them with mathematical sets and then I refresh them with mathematical sets. Mathematical sets. If they are going to write exams. BEC and even this year you can find out from the education director. I refresh the students throughout the BEC. So you refresh the students. Throughout the BC, well, I, mathematical sets. I have supported 20 people, they are doing their PhD in abroad. I donated 5,000 Ghana cities to the Zongo. There is a school that is footing, so they brought a budget to complete. They do Zongo. So I, I gave them the money and we completed that school. I also gave them dual debts. I also supported. Uh, in terms of GEC, I also help the people to get employment within the GEC center. I've given dual debts, like you said, to support our schools within the Shao Osu Good District. I lobbied Charter Charity Foundation okay. and built. So, uh, so these things are what? These are during the coronavirus things I did to my constituents within the Shao Osu Good okay. District. You supported during that. I through Qatar Charity Foundation, I was able to build two unit classroom blocks at Dodo Aramata. These are donations I did and the toilet I did at uh, Odunse and uh, Odumase and uh, Dodo Azongo. And then Chaglete, I also love this special initiative to build a city WC at Dodo Azongo. Uh, no, we study in a Greek. These are street lights I distributed to my first. So you also distributed street lights? Yes, I give so street lights to the assembly members. You also yes, I also do street lights to the assembly members. Uh, these are computers and desktop I gave out to schools within the Shai Osunoku district. And then when it comes to our Greek, this is under education, please, our Greek. Our no, Greek. Continue talking. I have I have supported, I subsidized with this site to selected farmers. I have supported mechanization in the constituency. I have planned freely for farmers within the Shire of Sudoku district. Okay. I um, brought. Let's take, let's take that one off. It will look, okay. So, uh -huh. so uh, now a key, a key thing that was raised. Um, I have my Cheko here. Cheko is saying that when they grow the rice and we know that Asuchari and this enclave is a big rice production hub since I mean a very long time ago so historically that is there the concern he has is that as outgrowers after they have done the harvesting they ideally would wish that their member of parliament will do the lobbying and advocates to ensure that 
the marketing of the produce is easy for the farmers. Have you been able to work on that? Have you started anything on that? Uh, yes, uh, Roland Walker, I've done that. And I serve on the Agri Committee. If you go, you serve on the Agri Committee. I serve on the Agri Committee. Parliament is a house of records. So sometimes when I speak, I know the fact what I'm saying. As I'm speaking to you now, ever since I've served on the Agri, the minister can attest to the fact I've served several letters to the ministry. Which I was able old minister or new minister? Ah, okay. Both all the new minister. I was able to bring the Agri committee to the Osudoku enclave. We were able to tour the irrigation cell site at Osudoku enclave. And we even went to Banana Farm. We can attest. We, we went to the banana farms because uh, I was told that when they produce their rice, they don't get buyers. So we were able to have investors and we were able to tour the... Uh, uh, this so what you have been able to do is to bring a team, not only from the committee, but exactly. the ministry, to, to come and ministry. have a fair sign. Exactly. Okay. And then I also advocated that... I mean, our local rice should be given to our secondary schools so that they will cook uh -huh. I heard, I heard something. Yes. Please. I heard something. They said you described. My, my other brother here says you described the rice, the rice as. No, oh, please. He said you describe. No, I think you raise it. No, you raise it. Okay, he raise it. He said you describe the rice in a very unpalatable language. It is not true. It was during a uh, uh, primaries. This is internal primaries okay. between myself and my opponent. So your no, opponent, this is not true. your opponent, no, this used is not that true. against you. Yes, it's not true, my okay. dear. So what type of rice is grown there? Is it quality rice? It's very quality rice, oh. my dear. If you see the sutra rice. And the uh, foreign rice, there's no difference. All right. There's no difference. So it's not true. Now. It is not true. No. So, so please continue as well. So when I do this one, she also has a lot. So that. So let me give you one more before I go to the respective, um, the candidate. Uh, so, uh, so you, you, you continue. Mr. Fair Mr. wants to show the project. So continue with Mr. Fair's project. He says he wants to. Then we'll go to the community members and then we'll get some. Yeah, uh, if I give you time, I have to go. So I have to be careful with it. All right. Okay. So, so what is this? No. You wait. I'll give the time to Mr. Nage. Mr. Nage, I'll give you time. Yeah. These are not part of my project. These are not part of my project. This is under 1D, 1F. Go back. This, uh, this one was done before I came. I want to yes. showcase my project. No, no, but you continue. It's all part of your... Yeah. So I would will, I will, I will like my PC to also talk, and then we'll come back. Okay. If your PC talks, the next time I'm going here before I come. All right. Mr. Nage. Yes. Now, Mr. Roland Walker. Now, um, what are your what are your observations about the pattern of development, and then how do you think your election could bring development to the area? Or in thank you, development? thank you. I'm grateful for the time given, and I expect you to give me, you know, in the forum and then the time to talk how, and how, speak to. How issues. much do you want? Twenty minutes. No, I, I give same. You. So let me. You give the same minutes. to the MP. I'm a candidate as well. So, so please, thank you. I'll give you six minutes. My name is Benjamin Nage, the new Patriotic Party candidate for the good people of Shao Zuluku. And this is my white book. I don't have a green book. I say white book because Matu Dangbe. Oh, my Matu Dangbe. Roland, PMP Jim, candidate Jim. Saying a lama denitu mitu, Nasako Suo, Nanga Mambi on a wa Nanaji, a construct thirty one kilometer road, Nipa Reshepin. Thirty point one kilometer road, Reshepin. Ipa Rama Town, Rama Town Reshepin Roads, Rama Town Roads, I did a Reshepin. Okay, Mini, Mini, Rama Town, Reshepin, Blah. From Lamatown to Flatland. Oh, to Flatland. Oh, Lama point. 2020. Inunipe reshaping up Lamano. Lamatown be on an angle of Jopa Wapest to the fat. 
you pay from Lama Town to Flatland, you pay Metro Mars, you pay Fulani, they are Joe Dumaso, you pay Mania Community Road, Benjamin Aga, for the Abadra in the Blow, any time, no man of Machine, no, you mean you pay, you pay Congo, Congo Town Road, Congo Blow, Benjamin Aga, you mean you pay, no, and a quarter of energy, go by the agric sector. Mutual mutual can run or sue the people. Predominantly, what we do is farming. And, and we do the agric and then the fresh farming. Rightly so. I have supported over 2,000 people. Hey, in what support? Yes, what I do is I support with agric subsidy, fertilizer subsidy. I do tractor services for them. You do that for them? Yes. And what I'm doing currently is I'm getting a welfare fund for the old age. Which areas of the, the farming areas from, have you done the, from the subsidy support for the farmers? Basically, and basically the tractor support? if you go to a Sudoku, what they do, about 70-80% to 80 percent of what the people do there is rice farming. These are things that I've done. And let me tell you, in recent times, when you go to education, I supported 2,530 students BECE students and then the education directorate will bear my witness. 2,530 students before the BEC. What did you get? What, what did I did was I went to the education directorate and our performance target was 47%. So, what I could do to support the education directorate is to bring seasoned examiners to take the BEC students through the, the, the period of the so okay, okay, extra classes, Sam. No extra With classes. Your support. No extra classes. I organized seminars for all the BC students. 2,530 of them across the 11 members of the district. What I'm doing, I have supported over 500 traders, SMEs, over 500. Not with a common fund. I'm not working on a common fund. Okay, I'm okay. working. God, they, God they can support or many supports. Financial support, assistance to oh. SMEs. SMEs, over 500 of them. Mino, Market Mino, women Mino, Mino pay providing, in terms of the financial support. I have provided soft loans for them. Soft loans for them. Some of them are basically what they need. They don't need too much to start a business. So what I've done is I have a foundation that supports them. That I do it myself. So I support you, you I give them, is it chop money or soft loans to put into their business. Okay. Invest into their business. And all this I'm saying is without a common fund. I'm doing this without a common offer. Emphasis on that. I have distributed over a thousand hair dryers. Over a thousand sewing machines and hair dryers. I have distributed over a thousand street lights. LED street lights. Across the land LED street lights. Over a yes. thousand. Over to thousand. which communities? Almost every community. And we come to Dodoa. And you see, and it interests you to know that even in the, the floor, the pole, the pole located at the front of my MP's office of residence. I put a street light there. It will interest you to know if you go to Kodiaba, if you go to Doyumu Agomeda, if you go to Asutari Junction, if you go to Manya Japanya, if you come to Godwa with the Queen Salem Rama Town, I gave the street light. In recent times, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, Roland, I'm still on air. What I'm doing to support the road network. What I'm doing to support the sanitation, I'm building a 12-seater toilet at Manya Batasi, Manya Salem. I am building a 12-seater toilet, not a green book, but a white book, visible for you to see. And it is one thing I want to say something real straight. I have told the length and breadth of the constituency. I have been to Odimse, and people are crying. The town folks are crying for toilet. Please run so today, if my MP says she has a toilet built at Odimse. Odimse has no toilet. All right. And I, I'm setting that record this straight. This is the only time you'll be speaking uh, Yes, Odimse has no toilet, and I'm setting that record straight. Matt Wedokum has no toilet, and I'm setting that record straight. I am building a toilet. Wedokum, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same at Bletum. I will do the same at Magurano. I will do the same at Odimse. I am going to work, and I will make sure that Charles Osuna will constantly persist and go forward. We are going to do it, and we are doing it for good. Not the noise speaking. No, the noise speaking. They know what I'm doing. Your they time know is what up. I'm doing. Your time is Where up. It's up. Your time is up. To finish it up, Roland, it we are going cool. to work to take Zion Zhu from the This is not the only time you the have to. We are, oh, and the service we are Let's respect the rules. 
you want to talk. Yes. Okay. At the end of the day, it looks like um, the key development I see is in the area of water and sanitation. <laughs> Many of the communities just don't have the right sort of um, sanitary facility, toilet facilities, etc. Farmers are in difficulty. And the support is coming from Mr. Naga here, the MP2 says she's doing some. H how do we resolve those issues for the various areas within the constituency? Shai Usubi. All right, thank you so much. What's your name again? Well, uh, this program is a, is a program of record. So it is very important that when we are talking, let's talk with facts. Respectfully, respectfully, I am an assembly member and I've been in the assembly for a decade now. What are the facts? He himself, as you see down there, the road is his own home. It's deplorable. It's in, it's in Tatus, his own road. He, it's the in road Tatus. in his area. He's in your own house. Don't show it, let them show it. Yeah, but it's, he, he, he is only... He's own home. He's own a central government that's supposed to do the road. Exactly. So if he claims that he's doing roads, why has he done that his own road? If he claims he's doing roads, he hasn't done anything. Roland, in 2016, 2016, the NDC, you have four minutes. Yes, the NDC government awarded the Afyanya, Afyanya Federal Road, with a contract sum of 2.2 million Ghana cities. They have not done it. 2016, there was a contract award by the Ghana Highway Authority, Dodowa Afyanya Road, 2.2 million Ghana cities. In 2016. In 2016. In September 2016. So why wasn't it continued? Yes, they didn't do it. This government came, they abandoned the project. Now the DCE had gone there to do his shopping. He claims he's the one who did it. It's not true. I want my honorable member to know that he's the one doing it. No, but the, D the DC is here. Yes. He has evidently said that he's the one who did the reshaping. And, and I'm saying that him again. in 2016, they awarded a contract for the construction of the road. They abandoned it. 2.2 million Ghana cities. Ayukuma, Doyubu Road. It's all home. Ayukuma, Doyubu Road. 10.8 kilometers. 1.8 million Ghana cities. They abandoned it. Ayukuma, Doyubu Road. Are you Kuma? Yes. Then Roland, Ro Roland, I want to say something. Our our constituency is purely agrarian. It's a rural district. The NDC government wanted to do. The NDC government wanted to do a bridge. A bridge over the Volivo. A bridge at Volivo. And Roland, I'm telling you, you can check your facts. Look, you remember the other we had a problem. The Eastern Corridor Road to the Eastern Corridor was supposed to pass through our place, Osudoku, Volivo, and Mahama promised to build a bridge across the water to augment the Adomi Bridge. 11 billion, 240 million yen, Japanese yen. They squandered the money. Check, go to, go to Graphic Online. It was approved in Parliament. It was approved in Parliament. They squandered the money. They never did the project. You cannot say they squandered the money. Why is the loan? To, uh, it was, I'm saying it was approved in Parliament. And your colleague, Mustafa Jafaru, reported graphic online. You can go and check. Daily graphic. No, November 2, 2016. November 2, 2016. They squandered the money. 11 billion, 240 million dollars. Now, now, let me come to the project you claim he has done. All those projects are who, who? The um, PC or Mr. Nagel? I'm talking about the PC. All those projects are not TV. No, the projects are on TV. No, me, I'm coming. The projects are on TV. I'm coming. The, the toilet, projects the are on TV. The toilet he claimed he built was in his hometown. It was done by his father's man. It's not him. Two. It two. doesn't matter. That is from his family. Two. Two. Roland, I'm coming. It's not him. When you go there, the DC toilet, the same area. The DC is being the toilet at the same area. The toilet the DC is at the same area. It's his father's one, it's not true. Secondly, secondly, the street light project, it was central government money. It is not his money. Wait, There's Mr. Naga here has donated a number of street lights. Yes. And I even asked him which areas. And you are claiming that it is central government. Who gave him the street lights? Naga did not buy the street lights with his own money. It's not true. The street lights came to the assembly. And it was in last year, in last year 2020, 
and they gave it to me to fix in the communities. He did not buy the children with his own money. The DC gave the right to us. It's true. But he didn't build them. That time is up. Yes. He didn't build them. So it's clear the facts. Thank you. Roland, I would like to speak to one or two. Issues. Yeah, I will let you react. This one, I will let you react because this is a direct indictment on you. So I'll let you react yeah. before we go to I them. Like to please, please let's have some silence there. so that we can have this conversation. I think I've loved the conversation so far. A little noise here and there, but fantastic. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Mr. Fair. Roland, uh, I want to do some clarification here on two issues raised by the Honorable Assembly. Let member. the mic get closer. Raised by the Honorable Assembly Member. You know him very well. I know he's one of my colleagues in the Assembly. He's your friend. Yeah, very best friend. He's one of your friends. Yes, in the Assembly. Okay, okay. To be honest with you, as he said, that the road, uh, the contract was awarded in okay. 2016. Okay, okay. Let, let me do this. Was there a contract that was awarded for a stretch Ayukuma to Doyimu Road in 2016? Yes, there was a contract that was awarded, but in two phases. So what? Uh, and so no money was paid no, no, to no, the wait. contractor. No, this wait, is what wait. I want to put so it based on your best knowledge. What no happened money, to the project? Yes, no money was paid to the contractor. There was no mobilization. There was not a single person for the contractor to be on site. In no September money. 2016. So it is MPP government that mobilized funds for the contractor. Like was that of Godward to Afenia. There was not a single fan being given to the contractor. It is the MPP government that started a mobilized fund for the contractor, which I want to set the record straight. So if they talk about road, naturally, we are in bad states of road, which I have reported to the presidency, the road minister is aware, is aware, and then we are working seriously on it for but, us to but get for a better this road. road. But for that this one, are you I go on, on authority, I say was not the NDC did not give a single money to the contractor to be on site, not the person. Fair point, fair point. Yes, sir. Fair point. Thank you. So, so that's the clarification you wanted that's to the do. the clarification yes, I wanted, wanted to, to do. do. Okay. Now, uh, Mr. Mr. Nage, um, you have emphasized the effort... You, The PM. Uh, that's Mr. Uh, Sabute. Yes. Mr. Sabute. Uh, All right. So, there the, are the key issues. Um, your gesture towards the communities is being misinterp misinterpreted to mean that you are getting funding from elsewhere or even you are even getting funding from the assembly that is provisions of streetlight that are made for the assembly you rather are using for donation thank you thank you roland yes sir uh let me argue that, that is so simple i'm not a member nor a staff of the assembly so how do i enjoy the goodies of the assembly i don't get anything from the assembly i'm not an assembly member i'm not an mp i'm not an appointee of the assembly so it is it is null and void to even tell me that to even tell me that I'm taking goodies and enjoying goodies of the assembly. Roland, secondly, let me make a point clear. Recently, about a week ago, we started the reshaping of the Dodoa at Shamai Kashin to Rimsa Road. Personally, I gave 10,000 Ghana cities for four to do that reshaping. State the state DC that here, that was a reshaping. After we fixed, the after the assembly, that the MC, uh, DC talks about. Yes, after yeah. the assembly fixed the greater. I gave them 10,000 Ghana City. As part of your support. As part of my for support. For the Not from the common family. Not from common family. But for me, as an individual, as a candidate. Not a common fan. And also, for my good brother, for my good brother to tell me that Manhattan Road is in Tartus. Let me tell you something. And then Manhattan Road is your that area. Is, that is my area. We started, I started the construction of a two kilometer road network for Manhattan Township to join the Tama Akosomo Main Trunk Road. And then the, it was awarded to a feeder road, Nash Group Construction. Nash Group. Nash Group. They took up to do that work. The feeder so road. To, to feeder road. And they are not working on it. So you are telling me it's in Tartus. That is not a project of Nagar. What I'm doing is to make the road more trouble for my people to work on it. I'm not an MP saying that MPs don't be reshaping on the road. I'm a candidate. And reshaping of the road is my major priority. I will make that a priority today and make that a priority tomorrow. 
and to debunk to debunk the assertions, my, my good brother Jay Riley said, that the toilet facility to enhance sanitation and building is my father's money is unfortunate. You know why I say unfortunate? And indeed, granted, 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 please, granted my father, granted is my father's money. Oh, please, 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 please. No, talk. Granted, when you talk, I've told you, it goes direct. Granted, don't be worried. I'm using my father's money. I am using it wisely. Granted, granted I'm using my father's, using father's money. money even granted, granted I'm using I'm it using. wisely. Even if, even if, you see, I'm using my father's money, I'm using it wisely, and I'm adding sense to it. That is to say, that is to say, let me tell you, I'm a channel manager by profession. Okay, you are chatter. I have worked and I am working. You say you are so chatter. So market by profession. If they want it, I can show them hardcore evidences. Let me tell you, I am working and I'm working. So I have money and funds and I have connections. I have people I'm building the constituency with. So if the people come to support the agenda, they are doing it to support the people, the good people of Shao Sudoku. And the quality of the Shao Sudoku, Maji, the only political party that can develop Shao Sudoku, no one in Namo Majemio is the new patriotic party. And I can give you reasons. Give you, I can give you reasons why well, I'm saying that. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hold on. You, you have a you please wrap up. Wrap up. Wrap up. Wrap up. Continue. Wrap up. Continue. Wrap up. Continue. Well, uh, let me tell you. When we come to Shao Sudoku, initially, here was the market. This was God in one market, serving the good people of Shao Shao Sudoku. And then under John and the Good before, we moved it from here to the new market. Ganata was here, rental premises. We have moved it to the new place. If you go to Osudoku, when it comes to Lara to the sea, when it comes to World Network, when it comes to water, Agata, Volivo, and Cassini, as it is MPP. All people we are working. And we are working to serve service at Osudoku. Now, now, Madam Oklu, as the MP of the area, it looks like there's a lot of pressure on you. The pressure is coming from all sides. What, 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 what sort of development do you think has been done and needs to be doing, need to be done going forward? Has been done and needs to be done going forward? Yeah, uh, Roland Walker, please, uh, before I proceed to your question, uh, if you can allow me to finish the project I've done within my fellowship in the office. projects. Yes. And then I have in hand copies of my common fund. Out of the hundred percent common fund, and wait, please, wait, wait, wait. Which one do you go? Please, 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 please. Can we have some decorum here? Please, please, please. Let's have some decorum here. Please, 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 please. Everybody, let's have some decorum. Let's respect each other, please. This this may be politics, but we are all one people living in the same community. Let's respect each other. Shouting at each other won't help anything. So, madam, please. Yeah. We for this one, we have four minutes for this conversation. Please. Now, which one do you want to go to? Do you want to tell me about your yeah, common fund or you want to go with the project? Four minutes, my, please. With my project, please. You won't come back said, to the common fund. Let the next round. Do you understand? All said, right. Um, aside the uh, agriculture sector, water, sanitation, and health. Like I said, I have constructed six seater WC with a shower facility at Godowa Odumasi. Godowa Odumasi. Six seater and water facility at Godowa Zongo. And then a seater WC at Chablete. As we know, better couples of warehouse, when you go to the district hospital, the district hospital, true me, when you go to the district hospital, in fact, when our incoming president, John Jamama, built that hospital, there wasn't any answer. Which hospital? The district hospital. The Dodua hospital. The Dodua hospital. I gave them an eye center. There's an eye center there, which I funded that eye center.
Madam Lena, I'm waiting for you. I Please also, continue. I also sent power. I I sent electrification project to my opponent. This uh, uh, area, Manya Jopanya. I got Jopanya. them even though it's not yet Jopanya. completed. Yes, I sent electrification there. Manya Jopanya. If you I say sent you sent it there, you lobbied for it. I lobbied it. for it. Yes. And when it comes to electrification project, electrification project, Odumse, when you go to Odumse, this compound, I love the Qatar Charity Foundation. We have a clinic at Odumse. Where we are now, there's a chips compound here. I rented that chips compound that is working as I'm speaking to you now. I pay monthly, I pay bills monthly, I pay what I pay rent. Let me go to electrification project. I have extended electricity to Nakope. Kwechokope, Ayubom, Adako, Apese, Adakope, Asebu, Ramatan, Felipe, Asuchari, Godwa, New Magdim, Yope, Nagla, Yosisi, Makati, Kope, News, Sota, etc. Human Capital Development. My dear, I've distributed over 3,000 machines, two uh, uh, machine, soy machines, soy machines, and hair dryers to our constituents. I've been able to, I brought a cooperative union called Soko, which gave a lot of our market women loans. Yes, which gave a lot of our market women loans. I also, we had 22, so you get market women loans. We had 22 electoral areas. I've equipped all the 22 electoral areas with tricycles and motorbikes. When it comes to power, security fire prevention, I've given over 2,000 uh, uh, street lights. I've also renovated the only uh, fire service. I've given TVs to our prison service because when I visited the prison service, the prisoners brought a request that they needed TV so that they'll know what is happening in the country. Based on that, I distribute, I gave them uh, TV and refrigerator you have a minute. within the you have a minute. sectors. When we live there, our traditional area, I presented them, them with a bus. Which a traditional bus, area? The, uh, traditional council. The Shai Osu Doku traditional I bought a bus for them. But you bought a bus? One. Yes. I bought a bus for them. The bus is only one. And I want my party to So now the traditional one. area yes. has and a bus because of your issue mentality. And then, aside that, recently, I did some donations. I gave, uh, Please, I did your some donations. To some selected communities within the Shai Osunoku district, I gave Ramatown 10,000 Ghana cities to reshape the roads within the Ramatown. I gave Braka also 10,000 Ghana cities to reshape uh, the to renovate your time their is toilets. Up. To renovate their toilets, I gave Pachikopa 7,000 Ghana cities to do some to complete their up. school, secondary your school. Now, I also supported. The Let court. me go to the mic. The district court. Let me go to the mic. The district court. The, Which district the judge, court? This district court. The judge told me that when they build the court, the door over there is not safe. So she needs to change. And I sent several requests to the assembly and has not been granted. I gave out the, the same assembly. The same assembly. I gave out 3,500 to is he not your friend? He is my friend. But then, he doesn't grant your request sometimes. No, I mean the request from the court, not from me. From the court? Yes, from okay. the court. Okay. And then when you live there, uh, Roland, I have secured jobs for a lot of our constituents. Hey, you have yes. secured jobs? Yes, secure how, jobs. How do you secure the jobs? Yes, what I do is that through lobbying, I have, I have over 300 youth who are into uh, um, local government, who are in military, who are in fire service, who are in police. So you people, what you do is that you just go and secure jobs. Yes. MPP and DC, you are securing jobs. And then, and the then, and the military project. and all those things. Two lobby. The DC is project in Mashi. Oh, yeah, MPP and DC. Most of this is project are being funded by NGOs. TOG. Most of them are get fund. So that project, and uh, Roland, let me be specific. Our common founder comes. I have to be fair to our you as well. Comes. I don't want problem. Out of the hundred percent, they so, give MPs Madam five percent, and our Rock common fund is still that we have. Twenty twenty four, we are yet to receive a single common fund. Twenty twenty four, we are yet to receive a single common fund. Before we wrap up, we talk about common fund. Wait, wait, wait. 
We'll talk about a common Roland. fan. It looks like he's get, getting Roland. heated here. Yeah. It's okay. Roland. It's okay. Roland. Let me. Roland. Let me. Roland. No, Roland. We'll, we'll come. Roland. So, Roland. Mr. Nagel, mumble, mumble, mumble. On your pressure, huh? Keep up, on your pressure, huh? But Roland, you're not being fair. You're not being fair. Roland, you're not being fair. Now, Roland. let me take Roland. two oh. views. You have to get my spell here. Oh. Nyakpa, 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 nyakpa. Nyakpa, ipa, ipa, nyakpa. I, I beg. Please, please. Let me take some views, two views. Okay. Uh, Roland, 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 Roland. Mr. Nagel, mumble, mumble. No, I'll come to Roland, you. Roland, Roland, Roland. Roland. We'll wrap up with you. Roland, we'll wrap up with you. Roland. We'll wrap up with you. Hey, this, this constituency. Mumble, mumble. You can see your mumble. Ah, me don't appear. No, you will deal with the common fund issue. The common, I want us to wrap up with the common fund issue, madam. I'm quite your mate. Madam, me. I'm quite your mate. Assembly member Odumse Electoral Area. Odumse Electoral Area. Area Assembly member. Yes, please. Minigi problem, or? Uh, I know this is a learning process. This process is a learning process, and we are all for peace. Our honourable MP said she gave us some street lights as an assembly member for Dumte Electoral Area. I've not received a single uh, street light from her. From 20. Okay, so which time did you resume? Did, are you a newly elected assembly member? Yes, please. Oh, you saw so you, your term commenced this February. Yes, please. Okay, okay. So your term commenced this February. Yes. 2016. So is it the new or the old? Okay, the, the old. MP is okay, but she says she hasn't I listened. know. Constitution of Ghana states that every MP is given an amount quarterly as a common fund. Whether it's your president that is on or not. So I want to ask an MP from 2017 till now. What does she use the common she fund for? What does common fund for? Okay. That is what I want to know. So now, so you are because asking I know what the similar, MP similar uses has the been common given to fund other MPs. For? Whether it's your president that is as the president or not, you are giving common fund. So where is the common fund going to? Two weeks ago, I left Edidia FM. She went and she was applauding our FC. She was congratulating our FC that our FC have been releasing the funds for her smoothly to do her work. Two weeks ago, I have an evidence. As Edidia FM, he went to mention and congratulate our current MP. Honorable friend of fair that any time the, the, the common fund comes, he releases the MP's common fund for her smoothly without any stress. So now, if she comes to tell us a different story, I'm surprised the evidence is here. Energy FM, she went and she was applauding our MP. Now you say you say she, she went to an event yes. and she was applauding the MC at Energy uh, FM. The, the MC, uh, the DC for, 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 a, for the smooth release of a common fund. Yes, please. Each time she makes a, re a request. Yes, please. So you are surprised that she's making this? Very, very surprised. But she hasn't said that common funds are not released. No, she said. No, I'm saying that as we sit here, she hasn't said that. She said. She said it. She said it. She said it. She said it. 2020. 2020 to 2021. 3.4 billion. 3.4 billion. What does she use that 3.4 billion? And it comes quarterly. Whether it is your president that is on or not, your MPs common fund comes. So where does that money go? That is what we want to know now. Okay, one more. Then I go here, two, and then we'll come and talk about common. It looks like common fund is a problem. It's not only in Shai Osudoku. Let me make that clear across so we'll talk about it we'll use it to end i'll hear from mr nage and then madam oklu but in between the honorable fred Ofei will be here this mc the best mc has spoken so far this year i'll be re reducing your post uh -huh. okay thank, don't thank touch you. the mic don't thank you very it. much my name is kojo papa dodoa town kofi papa kojo papa dodoa town so my Kodjo papa yes dodoa town yes please. kojo papa don't do what time. Charlie, you have the mic. Oh, Two thank, minutes. Thank you very no much. No disruptions. I well, promise my, my, my point here is simple. Uh, I would want Honorable to clarify something. She mentioned that she did a renovation of the Dodua Library 
at an amount of 1.5 million Ghana city. That's what she said. 180,000. That's what she said. Is it 180,000? Then, then maybe you don't hear it well. Then, uh, further going on, I would say that when it comes to infrastructure projects in this constituency, the MPP has demonstrated beyond all doubt that it is the government that that is is centered on making sure we get our infrastructure projects. I can talk about education. And trust me, on education, if your cameras go wrong, you will see that we have constructed classroom blocks expanding from the Osu to the Shai. We have constructed a lot of classroom blocks. When you come to the area of health, we've done the infectious disease center. We have done, uh, how do you call, we have done the nursing quarters. We have done various chips compounds scattered across the district. When you come to roads, I can tell you on authority that the inner roads that you see in town was constructed by the MPP. The, the police station road that you see spanning they got spanning to Gorgisberg Memorial Hall and other roads. If we can even talk about the dualized road that the MPP is constructing from Adenta to Dodoa, we can also talk about the exact construction Go on going at a salmon to Asutari Junction. Well, for the first time, we are going to have we are going to have an interchange at Asutari for the first time. I can tell you that with the common fund that this MP has received, she should be able to give us the desired development that we have. But she has done very little. Virtually nothing. Virtually nothing. If she says that, if she says that GOG. Thank you very much. Let me take two. I told you that I will let you go uninterrupted to allow you. Please, you have two minutes. Okay, thank you very Talk much. Talk exceeding two minutes. Yes. I will cut you. The MPP is starting projects that they've not undertaken in this country. What do you mean? When we talk about infrastructure projects, NDC is second to none. Every project that has been undertaken in you this mean, constituency... You mean Shai Osudoku? Shai Osudoku. Roland, just behind you. Roland, just behind you. There's an asphalted road. It was being put in place by the NDC. When you talk about behind energy, guess what? an asphalt road. Yes, there's an asphalted road behind you. It was the NDC that brought it. The infamous Shai Osudoku uh, District Hospital. It was built by the NDC. It was built by the NDC. The street lights that you see around, it was put in place by the NDC. Or, uh, Roland, the major highways in the constituency were all constructed by the NDC. The DC, where he comes from, electrification was brought to the community by the NDC. Where the girl also comes from, it was the NDC that brought electrification. So as a matter of fact, the MPP has done nothing when it comes to infrastructure. When it comes to Australia, when it comes to education, I'm coming. Just last one. When it comes to education, the Ossutek was being put in place and established by the NDC. So what is the point when it comes to infrastructure? One more, then I'll come. We'll talk about common fun. One more, we'll talk about common fun. Please, please. Yes. What's your name? My name is Joe Saike. Um, I'll first of all want to thank the big, good people of Shao Sudoku for always voting for the NDC. And I want to thank them for promising us again that they'll give us 85% of total vote come December 7th. Like my brother have like my brother have always said, like my brother have said, all major developments in Shao Sudoku were undertaken by the NDC. He has mentioned a lot of them. But one of them that has touched the lives of over 10,000 people is the Asutara Irrigation System. That is a project that has directly employed over 6,000 people and over 8,000 are indirectly employed. The irrigation for their farms. And that is a project that has brought in God in Exotic, the largest banana farm in West Africa. And go to Osudoku, they are a blessing to Osudoku today. And that is the doing of the NDC. It is in that vein that I call on the good people of Shai Osudoku that they shouldn't repeat the curse on us again. They should increase our votes to 85% and ensure that the mama and honorable in the Okulu come to power to rescue us again. Thank you.
Mr. Sabute. What about no? On low. Okay. So now it looks like it looks like common fund is an issue. Um, you've been you've been in office two and a half years, right? Realistically, what have you collaborated with on with the MP when it comes to the release of the common fund for projects? And Thank you. and and what's the sort of collaboration you have? Thank you, Roland. The MP just said here that he has executed some projects. Honestly speaking, under my stewardship, I have not seen a single project executed by her. All the things he did was under the attention of my predecessor. But under my stewardship, okay, so there is not a document that has come before me that is going to Let post the project. This. You are saying that Mommy, for the two and a half years that you Yes, I am saying it on authority. I am saying, and if you can ask the MP, if you come out with the figures, the amount of common funds she receives and the amount of common funds the assembly receives. You understand? The truth of the matter is, the MPP has done so well in Shai Osudoku. The irrigation farm they are talking about, naturally it was done by the NBC, but we have expanded it over 80%. So, so a larger input has been made into it, which has employed more of the farmers than what so there's been the secretary was talking the MPP about. The MPP has done over 80% of the irrigation expansion. All of them are aware, which was funded by World Bank, that funded that project, which it was just finished about half and a year ago. So if they are saying they were the people who did the irrigation for me to employ over 6,000 people, it is neither here or neither there. It is the MPP that has expanded it and the people are doing massive work with it. Coming to talk of infrastructure, NDC always boss of the Dodra Hospital. There was a visit hospital. There was a Dodra Hospital before that hospital was constructed. When MPP came into being, we never neglected the old hospital. We made sure we put it into good use, which now has turned to be the National Disease Infection Center, upon which we have built about 10 unit, two bedroom houses for the nurses to come and stay in and work for the nation and work for the big, big people of Sarah Sudoku. So when they talk about infrastructure, inner roads that we are talking about, all the inner roads in Dota was done by the MPP government, but not the NBC government. As we speak, the main road that was coming has to hit you know you be per the good cause and myself and some few chiefs we went to lobby for the road to get to Godwa which is a massive infrastructure for the people, good people of Shai Osudoku. As I speak, I want to give the mic to the presiding member of the district to also come on and speak well. Thank you. Roland, 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 let me, let me to clear some doubt. Please, Roland, without your respect, because he has spoken, let me give you only three minutes so that I can go. No problem. Without I'm okay. your respect. I'm okay. But I'm you, okay. you agree that I've been fair to you? Sure, you've been fair. Roland, Roland, the issue is, huh? when it comes to development, my brother, my big brother was saying that they have helped, they have developed Shai Osudoku, and he was talking about the education system. Yes, the education system was a test run under the stewardship and under the MP, Honorable Mike Afebikizu. He started this and it was a, it was a test run they did. Small scale. We enlarged it under John as they did before. Banana Fund that we were talking about is a fair trade company that was established and was brought in by John Ajaku before. What I'm saying is, uh, we have given them 32 years. 32 years. Since 92. Let's look at the project they brought on board. Let's look at the development they brought on board. Let's look at the boost, what is done to support our great road infrastructure, tourism. Chengu Force has been left unattended to. Chengu Force, Ali Water Force, Tipa Forest, and the Provincial Road River Forest. What have they done? That is what we have to, to, have to speak to. Our great job unemployment, youth unemployment. We are talking about road infrastructure. We are talking about tourism, creative arts and industries. What have they done? They should tell us. And because the director just told me that the MP supported them with pictures. And she said, say 10,000 we give to education directorate. No. Let's set the record straight. MPP, Shao Sudoku, Makpanyapa, Nyeka, MPP, Nyeka, 
Nous avons été tous les gens qui ont été élevés. Quand tu es venu ici, tu es venu ici, tu es venu ici, tu es venu ici, tu es venu ici. Merci. Vous parlez de la MP. Vous voulez parler de la MP. Ok. Donc, merci Roland Walker. Merci, 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 Thank you, our chairs, viewers and listeners. I think that it is important to note that the MPP parliamentary candidate has admitted for a fact that he came with a first sheet. He didn't come with green book because he has nothing to show in a green book. As well as the DCE, who have actually been in the power for the past two and a half years, also came with no book, he came with no records. This tells us that the MPP parliamentary candidate is an applicant. That is why he has written something on the Air Force sheet. On the Air Force sheet, he's not seeking for unemployment. We, the people of Shire Sudoku, we will never give him unemployment because all that he has written on that Air Force sheet is a lie. He is continuing to lie, so we are not going to give him job. We will not give him the job today. We will not give him the job tomorrow. It is also worthy to know that when we talk of development in Shai Osudoku, it the is time only is associated time with the NDC. You it is only the NDC that is associated with development. When we talk of Shai Osudoku, thank you. All right. Uh, thank Please you, have five minutes. Walker. There's a key and issue about. Um, the common fund, the funds that are supposed to be accruing to you that you are supposed to apply projects for. He says that since he came two and a half years, you haven't made a proper application for project for expenditure. Uh, well, I work out. Thank you so much. Let me state on record. Let me state on record that I have never said in my submission. I have never said in my submission. Okay. I have never said in my submission that this thing has not approved my common fund. I must be frank with you. As to when the common fund comes, this thing approves. And I always say it everywhere I go. How often do you have your common fund? Our start? common fund doesn't come. He can attest to the fund. So how long hasn't your common fund been coming? 2023. As I'm speaking to you now, 2023 common fund was just released about two months ago. The whole of 2023? The whole of 2023 was just released about two months ago. See, what of you even touch it? The fund is still in my account. Secondly, I have my green book. All the monies I've received from my common fund, I have worked with it. And as I'm speaking to you now, my dear, all the project DC came and the parliamentary came, the reshaping of the roads, it's all about done by him. It's the same with DC that is doing it. I also told DC that. I'm taking 10,000 out of my common fund to support the fuel. To the, uh, uh, so you also donate a few I also donate. I told the DC. I've donated 10,000 Ghana cities. But let me be frank here. All the infrastructure in Shire Sudoku has been done by NDC era. MPP cannot boast of any major project in Shire Sudoku constituency. Let me talk to my constituent. Shire Sudoku, in a papa, you know what is happening in Ghana. See, one of the key factors eh, of the economy in Shire Sudoku is farming. As my MPP candidate, they've taken over all the lands from people from, with land gas. What do you mean? He has taken over all the lands from the people around uh, Manya Japan. And he's here claiming that he has work for the people. He has taken over all the lands. Which land do you want the people to farm with? Which land? Do you want the people to vote? Okay. Okay. He's taking over all of us. All right. Shai Osidoku, in a Yopapa, vote for NDC. NDC pay the money my chakra on life in Shai Osidoku. Shai Osidoku, predominantly, has been farming area, like I said. He's taking over all the lands. And what are you telling me? You are here. All he right. said he's there for the footballer. All right. I want to tell my constituents that it's only LDC that can change their lives, 
of the people in Shire Sudoku. It's only LDC that can reshape our roles. It's only LDC that can give our youth jobs in Shire Sudoku. Don't make any mistake. Vote for LDC. You saw a manifesto, the youth manifesto, Mahama manifesto. What Mahama have for the good people of Shire Sudoku? Please, I'm pleading with you. I will I can tell you confidently Madam, that you are we will get 90% of the vote. Mr. Sabote, Mr. Sabote, Mr. Sabote, Mr. Nagam, Mr. Nagam, Mr. Nagam, Mr. Sabote, Mr. Nagam, 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 Mr.